Hey guys, Alex Sturgeon here at the Hobbytown Hobbyplex. We have not done an unboxing in a little while and I'm excited to uh, get the Axial SCX-10 III uh, Jeep Rubicon in. We're going to do a very quick unboxing. Um, we've had the kit version. Uh, we had the kit version that Axial sent us that was already built. Uh, so this won't surprise uh, too much, I don't think, but let's find out. Uh, okay, that's pretty cool. So first off, um, it's a Spectrum uh, DX3. It looks to be, yeah, it's an actual DX3 uh, that you get here in the store for, uh, I think they're 80 bucks. Um, it's got the little thumb, the thumb drive, so you can have a hand free when you're driving, uh, either for maybe a winch or uh, maybe video or, or maybe some sort of cool drink in your hand. Uh, either way, that's pretty neat. So I'm digging that. I'm sure a lot of people will be very happy to see this instead of the uh, the SXT radio or whatever that is that uh, a lot of people online are grumpy about. So let's see if I can do this without having it fall off. Oh, you know what? Okay. There it is. So this truck is $4.99. It's one of the uh, one of the highest uh, priced Redditor runs out there right now. I it, the, I think the uh, Red Cat Gen 8 Axe is about the same price. Uh, but just uh, looking at this now, um, you know your truck is got all this detail. It's one of the things about the SCX10 3 uh, kit when it came out. You know we got that built version. Um, was just the amount of detail in the body alone, um, not to mention the rest of the truck. So you got your windshield wipers, um, light buckets, uh, these cool uh, cooling fin, I don't know what you call them, I'm not a car guy. Uh, <laughs> uh, mirrors, uh, fenders, fender flares, door handles. If you look closely inside, there's the dude in there again. You can see he's got a, a cowboy hat on. Um, so he's probably from Texas. Uh, so another nice thing, so you got the portal axles, you got the new, uh, not they're not necessarily new now, but you know what I mean, they're the axial uh, portal axles. Um, the other really cool thing about this truck, uh, and again, probably one of the reasons why the price is a little bit higher uh, for the ready to run version, are these are really thick um, links. Um, a lot of ready to runs, you know, they can kind of chintz out on you and uh, either put plastic links or really thin links on there. This one definitely has got the quality in there. Um, the drive shaft, there's still kind of that plastic and metal um, hybrid there. Um, haven't heard too many people complain about the, the, uh, um, the drive shafts on this truck, having them spin off or anything like that, so that's really good. Um, let's take the body off. So one of the things from the SCX-10 III uh, kit that we noticed was how tight everything fits to make it look as scale and real as possible. The body mounts are actually underneath, um, so there's no body clips on the outside to interfere with its realism. And it does come with lights, look at that. So tail lights and headlights already installed. That's great. Uh, I don't want to mess that up. Let's see. All right, so check that out. So it has your dig servo, and they leave open the two-speed servo. So they didn't put both the dig and the two-speed in there. Uh, it, it, I would assume that the demand was higher for the dig just so it could make tighter turns and stuff. This is really cool. So this is uh, this is that new uh, Spectrum Firma 40 amp uh, smart ESC and receiver combo. So it's a speed controller and receiver um, in one. So you can just you know link right up. It saves some space, and uh, it's it it's been out for a little while, maybe a month or so. Um, I'm curious to see. Uh, what it feels like. I've never actually driven one, um, so 
Uh, maybe one day I can get my hands on one of these here soon and, and give it a shot and, and report back to you guys on our channel uh, what it, you know at least what the feel and everything is like. Um, so here's your here's your engine, your fake uh, engine block in the front. You got the chassis mounted servo right here. Um, <laughs> that's pretty awesome. I've seen some guys paint these. Um, I've seen some 3D printed uh, versions of these to change the, the type of engine, I guess. Um, your transfer case, an actual uh, cool looking transmission and transfer case, again, for realism. Uh, looks pretty close to the real thing. Um, it does have different body mounts. If you ever wanted to put a different body on, you, you, you'll be able to do that. And bumper mounts look pretty standard, so you should be able to change those out if you want to try a different bumper, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, the tires, I believe they are just, no, they're beadlocked. You can definitely see uh, they beadlock from the back. Um, they're plastic, but that's okay. Um, it's got the covers here, which is nice. That gets you a couple, another scale point or two. And then I want to show this here too. It comes stock with a metal servo arm. See where my finger's at right there. Metal servo arm and it has the, uh, the S614 uh, metal geared servo already installed. Um, so that's pretty awesome. The shocks are uh, good old metal uh, axial, axial shocks. And they feel very, very smooth. Uh, the one thing that I noticed, uh, even with our uh, kit version of this truck that we got, was just how, um, how solid everything felt. It didn't feel flimsy. Uh, flimsy or floppy in any sort of way. Floppy is one of my favorite words to say. Uh, uh, it's, just, it's just a very nice, tight feeling truck uh, when you drive it too. So um, let's check the rest of it out real quick here. Instructions. Looks like uh, radio batteries. Looks like uh, maybe a different receiver case with the seal. And looks like some different servo horn mounts. Check it out, a ball cap. So if you don't want your dude to be a cowboy, you can, uh, I guess you can make him be a, I'd probably paint that to like, a... well, full disclosure, I'd probably paint it to look like a Nebraska Cornhuskers hat because I mean, what else is there for us to root for here in Nebraska? But uh, you know, choose your own favorite team, whatever. Um, sticker sheet. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. I'm glad we got this in. I'm glad they made a ready to run version. I figured they would. Uh, it's nice that they're doing the kit version first. Uh, we sold a lot of them. Um, I expect to go through quite a bit of these. We've got a course outside. Uh, hopefully, uh, whoever buys one of these here soon will let me drive it and, uh, and let me see what that speed controller feels like. Of course, it's got the DX3 radio, so you know it's gonna have good connection. So that's it. Uh, unboxing for the SCX-10 III the uh, Jeep Rubicon and uh, yeah thanks for tuning in and uh, we'll make another video for you soon